ഓം വക്രതുണ്ട മഹാകായം സൂര്യകോട്ടിസമപ്രഭ നിർവിഘ്നം കുറു മേ ദേവ സർവകാര്യേഷു സർവദ സരസ്വതി നമസ്തുഭ്യം വരദേ കാമരൂപിണി വിദ്യാരംഭം കരുഷ്യാമി സിദ്ധർമേ സദാ സാക്ഷാത്കൃതം ദയാനന്ദം പരമാർത്ഥസ്വരൂപിണം തത്വജ്ഞാന പ്രശാസ്താരം പ്രണതോസ്മി പരം പദം വാഗർത്ഥാവിവ സംതൃപ്തോ വാഗർത്ഥ പ്രതിപത്തയെ ജഗത പിതരോ വന്ദേ പാർവതി പരമേശ്വരോ ക്ഷരസമാം അധികമ്യ മഹേശ്വരാത് കൃത്സ്നം വ്യാകരണം പ്രോക്തം തസ്മൈ പാടിനയേ നമഹ വാക്യകാരം വരുചി ഭാഷ്യകാരം പതഞ്ജലി പാണിനി സൂത്രകാരഞ്ച പ്രണതോസ്മി മുഴിത്രയം സഹനാവത്തു സഹനോ ഭുനക്തു സഹവീര്യങ്കരവാവഹൈ തേജസ്വിനാവധിതമസ്തമാവിദ്വിഷാവഹൈ ഓം ശാന്തശാന്തശാന്തി we will have a quick recap of what we have seen so far varna mala is divided into vowels and consonants vowels are called swaraha or swaravarnaha or achaha achaha is the short notation to represent vowels all the vowels can be represented by the short form achaha so when i say when i use this word achaha it means vowels so i'll be using the the word achaha to represent vowels and it's interesting to know that how achaha denotes vowels later we will be seeing in the study but now you understand achaha means vowels swaraha means vowels swaravarnaha also means vowels and consonants consonants are called vyanjanani consonants otherwise called halaha halaha is the short term like achaha halaha is the short term to represent the consonants all the consonants are represented by the the by the word halaha then we have seen that the 13 vowels are classified into simple vowels and conjunct vowels based on the place of pronunciation based on the place of pronunciation it is classified into simple vowels and conjunct vowels simple vowels are called samana swaraha and conjunct vowels are called sanyukta swaraha simple vowels they are 9 in number and conjunct vowels 4 we have seen and based on the the time taken to pronounce a vowel it can be classified into short vowels and long vowels short vowels are called in sanskritam hrasvaha hrasvaha means short vowels dirgha 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 is long dirgha means long vowels so five short vowels and eight long vowels 
this we have seen in detail with just a quick summary. Then afterwards, we studied consonants. They are called Vyanjanani. Vyanjanani is the plural form. Vyanjanam is consonant. Vyanjanani consonants. They are called Halaha. And consonants we have seen. The, cl the classification we have seen in the last class. Consonants are classified into three. What are they? The first one is class consonants. Varga Vyanjanani. Vyanjanani means consonants. Varga means class. So class consonants are called Varga Vyanjanani, which are 25 in number. There are five classes, each class having five consonants, therefore 25. Then semi vowels. Semi vowels are called in Sanskritam antasthaha. Antasthaha. Semi vowels are called antasthaha. Antasthaha, that is, they are four in number. Semi vowels are four in number. We will be saying today. And the next one is sibilance. So semi vowels and sibilance. First one class consonants, and the second one semi vowels, and the third one sibilance. And sibilance are called ushmanaha. In Sanskritam, they are called ushmanaha. And this sibilance can be classified into hard aspirate and soft aspirate. Three hard aspirate sibilance are there, and one soft aspirate sibilant is there. So we will be studying today. So therefore the consonants in general they are classified into these three class consonants, semi vowels and sibilants. Semi vowels and sibilants they are non-class consonants. They are non-class consonants. Simply in simple way of uh, dividing classifying the consonants is class consonants and non-class consonants. Class consonants are 25 in number and non-class non consonants are so 25, the total 30, 33. So non-class consonants are 8 in number. And non-class consonants, under non-class consonants, we have semi vowels which are 4 in number and sibilants which are 4 in number. And sibilants are classified into hard aspirate and soft aspirate. Three hard aspirate, hard aspirate and one <coughs> soft aspirate. Then we saw in the last class the class consonants. The first four class classes we saw. What are they? The first class is called cover gaha, otherwise called kuhu. Kuhu also is a short short form to denote all the letters of the first class. The first class is called Kuhu. The first class begins with the letter Ka. Therefore, it is called Kavargaha, otherwise called Kuhu. <clears throat> the second class is called Chavargaha, otherwise called Chugu. The third class is Tavargaha, otherwise called Tuhu. So, Kuhu, Chuhu, Tuhu. Then the fourth class is called Tavargaha, otherwise called Tuhu. Up to the fourth class, all the letters, all the class consonants, we have seen. We have seen in the last class. Now, the fifth class, we have to see. The fifth class is called Pavargaha. Why it is called Pavargaha? Because the class begins. The class begins with the letter pa. Therefore, it is called power gaha, otherwise called puhu. So, do you remember all the letters, all the class consonants, all the four class consonants? Because the fifth class we have to see today. The last class we could not uh, do it. So, do you remember all the all the four? Classes, first class, second class, third class, and fourth class. The yes. first 
Yeah, the first class is somebody asked me to give the transliteration also, they are given. But better uh, uh, don't depend on the transliteration. You see the form, you see the form of the Devanagari script and uh, you listen to the sound, the pronunciation, then that is that then practice practice in the same way. You don't need to depend on another language. For example, ka is a K A I've written. Since somebody asked, that's why I've given the transliteration also. But but it is not uh, good to depend on another language to study Sanskritam. Sanskritam to be studied in its in its in Sanskritam itself. So you first you learn to write the letter. First you observe the form, then listen to the sound, then connect the form and the sound. That's it. Ka. Ka is this is what ka is. So in the beginning you can take the support of transliteration. Nothing wrong in that. But if you can avoid, that will be good. Okay. So the first class now. Ka, ka, ga, ga, na. So these are the five letters in the first class we saw. And the second class is called Chavargaha, otherwise called Chuhu, which has the letters Cha, Cha, Ja, Ja, Na. And the third class, which is called Tavargaha, has the letters Ta, Tha, Da, Dha, Na. And the fourth class, which begins with the letter Ta, is called Tavargaha. Ta, Tha, Da, Dha, Na. So up to this, we saw in the previous class. So now we have to see the, the fifth, the letters of the fifth class. So the letters of the fifth class, I'm sharing another PowerPoint, you can see. The fifth class. The fifth class is called Pavargaha, otherwise called Puhu. Why it is called Pavargaha? Because the first letter of the class is Pa, therefore it is called Pavargaha. And also, do you remember the place of pronunciation of the classes? What is the place of pronunciation of the first class, Kavarga? Can anyone say what is the place of pronunciation? Throat. It is throat. Yeah, throat. throat. Therefore, they are called gutturals. They are called gutturals. And second class, Chavarga? Pal palatals. Palate. The first palatals. Palate. And the third class, Chavarga? Cerebrals. Cerebral. Cerebral. Cerebrals. How the sound is produced? Roof of the mouth. Yeah, the tongue touch, touches, touches the, the roof, roof of the, the mouth. mouth. And the fourth class? Tavarga? Dentals. Dentals. The tongue touches just above the upper lip. Dental. Upper lip. Now, the fifth class, fifth class, the letters of the fifth class are pronounced, are pronounced by touching the lips together. So without touching the lips, you cannot pronounce the consonants of the fifth class. You can try. You just say pa without the lips touching ah. together. It's difficult. You can't say. Therefore, they are called labials. Labials. Labials in some system is called oshtyaha. I have written, uh, given the transliteration also. You can see O-S-T-H-Y-A-H. -H -H. Oshtyaha. Oshtaraga means lipstick. Oshtau means lips. Oshtaraga means lipstick. Raga means color. The color, you color the lips. That's called lipstick. Oshtaraga. So Oshtau means lips. So by touching the lips, the sounds are produced. Therefore, they are called Oshtyaha labials. And what are the letters? The first letter you can see, number three. Point number three, one, two, three is there. 
can see the third point. The letters of the fifth class are the first letter is uh, uh, is it aspirate or non aspirate? As non aspirate. Non aspirate. It is alpa prana. Remember that. The first letter is non aspirate. Uh, we saw in the last class, right? Then the second letter, p, is it aspirate or non aspirate? Aspirate. Aspirate. The first letter of all the classes will be non aspirate. The second letter of all the classes will be aspirate. Aspirate. The third letter will be non aspirate. Fourth letter will be aspirate. And fifth letter will be non aspirate. That is how it is. Okay. So the first letter is p. The second letter p. Third letter p. Fourth letter b. Fifth letter ma. So p. P, B, B, M. Okay, this, these are the letters of this class and yet now you know the pronunciation. Why it is called Power Ga? Because the first letter is Pa. Therefore, it's called Power Ga. Power Ga means what? Group. So the group begins with the letter Pa. Therefore, it is called Power Ga. The shortest way to represent the letters of this consonant is Puhu. Puhu. So, kuhu, chuhu, tuhu, tuhu, puhu. All the five class, class consonants. Now, we can see how to write these letters. This is the first letter of the fifth class, power ga. Pa. Pa is very simple to write. No complications in that. Stroke one and two and one horizontal stroke. This is pa. And the next letter this pi is, is it aspirate or non-aspirate? Again, I'm asking the same question. Is it aspirate? Aspirate? aspirate. Non-aspirate. 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 Non aspirate. Non aspirate. Non aspirate. Non aspirate. Alpa prana. Alpa prana. Remember that also. Alpa prana means non-aspirate. And aspirate is? Maha prana. Maha prana. What does it mean? Maha prana, alpa prana. Pranaha, alpaha. But prana is that breath. It is alpa. It is little. Little air is expelled out when pronouncing the letter. That is called alpa pranaha, non-aspirate. Aspirate is maha pranaha. More air is expelled. Therefore, maha pranaha. So, this is alpa prana. Pa. And the next letter is pha. Pha. It is not fa. You have to note this. In Hindi, it is called fa. But in Sanskritam, it is Pha, 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 okay. So in in Hindi they say fal. Fal means fruit, but it, in Sanskrit it is phalam. Phalam means fruit. In Hindi the same letter because uh, India also uses Devanagari script. So they, it, in Hindi it is pronounced as pha, but in Sanskrit it is pha. Okay. This is also simple to write. You can see the pa is there and one more stroke, the two is there by the side, on the right side. So this is pa, ha prana. Then the third letter is ba. Third letter is not there. Anyway, that you know, that third letter I can show you. The, the piece slide. It is the ba. third letter is ba. Okay. You can see here, pa, pa, ba. That is simple to write. Bah. It is missing in the slide. So, so when you uh, listen to the class, you have a scribbling pad with you. You please note down the the letters. If you are, and also you can take notes if you. If it's, uh, bah, bah is there. Sorry, bah is there. You can see bah is there. I thought bah was not there. It is here. So this is ba. Ba is simple to write. Stroke one and two and vertical stroke three and one horizontal stroke four. Simple. This is ba. Alpa prana ba. And maha prana is ba. ba. You can see it is looks like uh, the Tamil letter a. If you know Tamil, any of you. So ba. It is maha prana ba. And the fifth letter is. 
Okay, fifth letter will come. One minute. Amma. Amma. There. Okay. There's some problem in the. Okay, so I'll show you the next slide. Because the internet is weak, therefore I think it is a problem in showing that. Anyway, the fifth letter we can see, Ma. Ma is also Ma. simple to write, fifth letter. And do you remember one thing I told, the fifth letter of all the classes, they are, they are called? Nasal. Nasal. In addition to the respective uh, place of pronunciation, it also involves the, it also involves the help of nose. With the help of nose only, it is pronounced. So, ma, when we say, ma is, it is ah. labial. It is labial plus nasal. That is lips plus nose. It is lips plus nose. So, now you can repeat after me. Pa, pa. 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 Both pa. into prana, maha prana. Okay. Pa, pa. Pa, pa. Ba, 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 ma. ma. See, it is not pa, pa, ba, ba, ma. It's not like that. Pa, pa, ba, ba. Ma. You should show the difference between alpha prana. Pa, pa, ba, 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 ma. Pa, pa, ba, 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 ma. Ba, pa, pa, ma. Okay, fine. So now, coming back to this slide. So now the fifth fifth varga, fifth class, fifth group, you know. So fifth group, what is that? Varga, pa, 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 ma. So fifth letter, fifth class. So these are the class consonants. These are the class consonants. See if you are keeping your mic in. Unmute condition, make sure that there is no noise. Keeping your mic in unmute condition at the same time that there are surrounding noises, it will disturb the class. Okay, so these are the 25 class consonants. So, Varga, Denjanani. Now, just a quick uh, summary of the place of pronunciation. The first class that is Ka Ka. G, G, N, they are gutturals. They are gutturals. The place of pronunciation is throat, therefore they are gutturals. And the second class, Ch, Ch, J, J, N, they are palatals. The place of pronunciation is palate, therefore palatals. And the third class, Ta, Th, D, D, N, they are cerebrals. And the fourth class are dentals, the, 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 na. And the fifth class, just now we saw, pa, pa, ba, ba, ma. They are labials. So these are the class consonants, varga, vyanjanani. Now we have to see non class consonants. What are the non class consonants? This. Okay, before that, before that, I will show you something. So I have numbered one, two, three, four, five. So all the class consonants are numbered. You can see the first class, ka, ka, ga, ga, na. Second class, cha, cha, ja, ja, na. Ta, ta, da, da, na. Third class. Fourth class, ta, ta, da, da, na. Fifth class, pa, pa, ba, ba, ma. Now here, the first letter of all the classes, the third letter of all the classes, they are alpa pranaha, non-aspirate. The second letter and the fourth letter of all the classes, they are maha pranaha, aspirate. And the fifth letter of all the classes, they are alpa prana and also anunasika. Alpa prana is non-aspirate. Anunasika means nasal. Nasika means nose. Anunasika means along with the nose. 
so it is pronounced along with the nose it means what along with that is the, it has its the class every class has its respective place of pronunciation along with that nose along with that nose also is involved in pronouncing the consonant therefore anu nasika so therefore 135 alpa prana 24 maha prana and 5 is anu nasika also okay this you have to remember here the in the next slide you can see the alpa prana maha prana what are they it is it is mentioned for uttering the second and fourth letters of all the classes we need to breathe out more air from the mouth therefore they are called maha prana ha aspirate whereas the first and second letters of all the classes they are called alpa prana ha non aspirate because less air is breathed out and for pronouncing the last letter of all the classes nose is nose also is involved therefore it is called anunasika so simple you can remember 135 alpa prana ha 24 aha prana ha any doubt in this if you have any doubt you can so no. no shall we move on uh, excuse me yes uh, this, uh, there is uh, no at the end of all the first four classes uh, i didn't take in the last class and the difference can you just uh, show in pronunciation all the four na everything is ending with uh, uh, no no uh, no uh, first letter is ka ka ga ga na it is na not na the second the second that is no, second where is the okay so, sorry uh ah, the first na no, where is the tongue go i mean uh, uh, na no, how does it sound come the sound comes on the throat only throat and along okay. with the nose na do you speak that okay okay uh yeah okay you know ka na the same na no. kanga chanya okay. just blew up so but that, that na is this na okay and gnanam okay. is same tamil right that is the uh, uh, yeah. second class that is yeah oh second gnana okay uh. and the third one is yeah. na moonu soli na i mean tamil we say na moonu soli shut go shut go na okay na uh. and the fourth one uh, fourth na is rendu soli na okay others if you don't understand okay. sorry this is a uh, tamil in tamil uh. we talking this yes. okay, okay the last one is ma that everybody knows Yeah. Ah, that is okay. 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 Right. Thank you so much. Okay, then. Then we cover. Then the comes the non-class consonants. Under non-class consonants, the, the first uh, classification is vowels, semi-vowels. They are called semi-vowels because it is in between the vowels and the consonants. Therefore, they are called semi-vowels. In Sanskrit, it is called antastaha. How many semi-vowels? Four are there. What are they? First letter, yeah. First letter is yeah. Second letter, ra. Third letter, la. Fourth letter, va. Yeah, ra, la, va. Yeah, ra, la, va. How to write this? Let's see. How yeah is written? yeah it's simple to write yeah it looks like the the numeral 2 it is curved at the bottom and one vertical stroke and horizontal stroke simple simple this is yeah this is a first semi vowel then the next semi vowel is ra this is ra this is also simple to write ra so yeah ra the next one is la la is the, the next one third semi vowel la i hope you are writing then the next one the last semi vowel is va va is similar to the third letter of the fifth class pa pa bha there inside there was a stroke you remember that we just now we saw ba here the the stroke inside inside stroke will not be there so that is only difference so va 
So ya, ra, la, ba. Now, let me ask you, you say ya, when you say ya, can you, can you um, visualize or can you imagine the place of pronunciation from where the sound comes, ya, when you say? Palatal. Ya, ya. Like yaga, yavanam. Okay, the yanam. Ya is palate. The word, the letter ya is palate, palatal. The sound comes from the palate. You can note down. Ya is palate, therefore palatal. And what about ra, the next one? Rama, Rabihi. Ra, from where the sound comes, what is the position of the tongue in the mouth? You know the five sounds, okay, guttural, palatal, cerebral, dental, labial. Among the five, one should be? Cerebral. Cerebral. That's good. Cerebral. Ra is cerebral. And the third one, la. La. Dental? dental. Good. That is dental. The tongue touches just above the upper teeth. La. What about the fourth one? Say va. Labial. Labial. Labial is correct, but not Half only. <laughs> not only lips. Another uh, thing also is involved. Va. Teeth also. Very good. Teeth also. Teeth. You can see that when you say va, the teeth also touches the lips, right? Yes. Well, Therefore, teeth and lips, it is dental plus labial. So, ya, ra, la, va, four semi vowels. Among the four, ya is palatal, ra is cerebral, la is dental, va is dental plus labial. Remember that. Teeth and lips. So, these are the four semi vowels. And after semi vowels, then we'll see sibilance. Now, you have to pay more attention. Sibilance. Sibilance are called. Ushmanaha in Sanskrit. Ushmanaha. You can remember the Sanskrit name. Ushmanaha. The first letter is Sha. Sha. First letter is Sha. Not Cha. It is Sha. Like the sound in the word Shankara. Shankara Chaya. Shiva. Shiva. Shastram. Sha. Shastram. That is Sha. That is a Sha. 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 So. More Sha is going to come to confuse you, so yeah. pay attention. Sha. This is simple to write. Sha. We will see how to write also later. And the next one is Sha. Sha. Like the sound of the word Shanmuka. Varsha. Varsha. Yes. Varsha. Yes. Krishna. That is Sha. Krishna. Sha. Okay. Sha. Sha. Sha, the third sha. one is sa, like the word, sa. like the word Saraswati, Sagara, right? Sa. Yeah. Yeah. And the fifth sure. one is oh. ha. ha. The fifth one, Hari. Ha, right? Harihi. Harihi. Hari. Oh, we say ha. Hari. That ha. It's not a. A is vowel, a, that is guttural. This ha also guttural oh. only, we'll see. But there is a difference. A, ha. A is vowel, ha is consonant. That is the main difference. So now the four sibilants are sha, sha, sa, ha. The visarga sound also, ha only. Okay, now how to write this, we'll see. This looks like the numeral 5. This is also written in another way that I uh, will show you later. The numeral 5 and one vertical stroke by its side and one horizontal stroke at the top. This is Sha. The next one is Sha. This is Sha. This looks similar to the letter pa. It has got a stroke inside. So, it has got a stroke inside. Sha. 
So sh, sh. Then the next one is sh. 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 Also this sh. Sh. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Same. The next one is sh. Sh is. It looks like the letter uh, ra is written and one uh, stroke, vertical stroke, and both are joined by a horizontal stroke and one horizontal stroke at the top. So this is sa. The last one is ha. Ha. It is ha. Okay. We have seen sibilants are classified into hard aspirate and soft aspirate. We have seen the classification, under classification we have seen. And this is the last one, ha. Is it soft or hard? Hard. Hard. Soft. It is soft. Soft, soft. 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 Three sibilants are hard aspirate and one sibilant is soft aspirate. Is soft. Classification. We don't know what is hard and soft. The definition we have not seen. We'll be seeing it later. We come. But now you just know. Ha is the soft aspirate. Soft. Soft. Aspirate is what? Mahaprana. So all the sibilants are Mahaprana only. All the sibilants are Mahaprana. So sha, okay. sha, sa, ha. All the four sibilants are Mahaprana. Sha, sa, So sha, this one. This next one, sha. Sha, 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 sha. The next sa. one is sa. These first three, sha, sha, sa. sha. They are, please let, let me speak. The first sha, sha, sa, they are hard aspirate. They are hard aspirate. And the last one is ha is the soft aspirate. Okay. So the first three sibilants are hard. And the last one is soft. But all the sibilants are aspirate only, mahaprana. So that you have to remember. What about semi bubbles? Yara, lava. Is it hard? Is it uh, aspirate or non aspirate? They are all non aspirate. -aspirate. Non aspirate. Yara, lava, non aspirate. So we will be seeing it. And before that, now let us see the place of pronunciation of sibilance. That is interesting. Sha, sha, sa, ha. Four sibilance are there. Now you tell me what is the Ucharana Sthanam? That is the place of pronunciation of the first sibilant, Sha. Shankara, when you say what happens? Shankara, Shiva, Shastram, Shastram, Shakataha. What is the position of the tongue? Palate. Very good, palate. This palate. palate. Oh, palatal. And the next one, Shanmuka, Shashti, Varsha, Krishna, Rishi. What is that? Sha. Hmm? What is the place of pronunciation? Second, sha. Sha. Cerebral. Good. That is cerebral. So you should be able to distinguish between the two shas. Not shas, in fact. Sha, sha are not different. Sha, sha. It's not two shas. Sha, sha, both, both are different. So one is palatal, other one is cerebral. Okay, so that is the understanding that and pronouncing it correctly is very important. And when it comes to Vedic chanting, the pronunciations are very important. Sha, sha, sa. Then the next one, sa, sa is, what is the place of pronunciation of the third letter, sa? sa. Dental. Dental, good. That is dental. Like Saraswati, right? Seema, Sattva, that Sa is dental. So Sha, Sha, Sa. The last one, what about the last one? The soft aspirate. Ha. It is throat. Okay, guttural. So you can note down this place of pronunciation of the Ushmana letters. Palatal, cerebral, dental, guttural. Sha, Sha, Sa, Ha. Now, you know, all we have seen the Ucharana Stanam of the vowels and class consonants, semi vowels and sibilants. All the Ucharana Stanam also we have learned. That, is, that knowledge is important. That knowledge is important 
for pronouncing the letters properly. So now, a summary of all the letters, all letters means vowels and consonants put together. You will see. And before that, uh, here, in, uh, there is a, one more slide is there. You can see on the left side, there is a picture is there. You can see the tongue, which is numbered eight, and the different position when it touches, the, the positions are marked one, two, three, four, five, six. So from that, the sound comes. And what is the name of that sound? You can see. The number one is guttural, that is kantya, from the throat, the sound comes. The sound which comes from the throat, they are called gutturals. In Sanskrit, it is called kantya. And from the palate, that is number two, that is called palate. Two in the, the figure, they are called palatals, and the third one is called cerebrals. The tongue touches the roof of the mouth. They are more than yaha. They are more than yaha. And the fourth one is dental. The tongue that is number number eight, which touches just above the upper teeth. They are called dentals. In some schools, it is called dantyaha. And the fifth one is you can see the lips. Lips number yes. five touches each other. Therefore, they are labials. Oshtyaha. So, Kantyaha, Talavyaha, Murdhanyaha, Dantyaha, Oshtyaha. These are the five places of pronunciation. So, all the vowels and consonants can be, will, will come under these five places. Now, we have learned the place of pronunciation of all the letters. So, now we will group them together and see. Okay, and the last one is that, that is nasal. Nunasikaha. Okay. Now, you can see gutturals. Gutturals are the vowels. A, A. You remember, A, A is what? Guttural. They are kanteha. Only A is there. A is not there. No, it is understood. When A is there, A also is understood. Because the difference is only in matra. Therefore, A is not written. When A is there, the same a ah is the same a ah is stretched for two units of time. Therefore, it is not written. So you have to understand a ah also it is there. Okay. So a ah is the vowel, and what is ku? The next letter, the first line you can see a ah, ku. What is ku? Ku stands for ku, sta ku stands Kavarga. for Kavarga. 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 First class, what, are, what is its place of pronunciation? Gutturals. Kanta. Gutturals. Therefore, kantyaha. And ha, that's what we saw, the sibilant ha, the soft aspirate. That is also kanta. And visarga, what is visarga? The colon, right? Aha. 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 Also kanta. Aha. So, a ku ha visarga ha kantaha. Kantyaha. A ku ha visarga ha kantaha. Later, we will be seeing shiksha sutra. That whatever we study now will come in the form of a sutra. So if you learn this now, it will be very useful when you study these Shiksha Sutras. So A Kuha Visargaha Kantyaha. They are gutturals. Similarly, the vowel E Chu Ya Sha. The vowel E and the Chu stands for second class Chavarga. Ya is a semi-vowel and Sha is the same. E Chu Ya Sha. Its place of pronunciation is palatal. That's what they are called palatals. And the third one is r, tu, ra, sha. R, the vowel, tu, the third class. Ra is the semi vowel, and sha is the sibilant. They are murdhanyaha, cerebrals. And the fourth one, l, l is what? The vowel. What is its long form of l? Can anyone say long form of the vowel lu? Lu. Lu. Does it have? <laughs> lu doesn't, doesn't have, have short form. Okay. It's a tricky <laughs> question. So, you think lu doesn't have short, long form. If it is a long form, then how many, uh, how many short vowels, how many long, long vowels? We saw that also, right? Five short vowels and eight long vowels. So, lu doesn't long have vowels. long vowels. If it has long vowels, then it becomes six. So, L is only the short vowel. L is what? Dental. And Tu is Tavarga. Tavarga also dental. La 
semi vowel and sa the sibilant that also then dental so lu tu la sa they are dentals dantya and the labials now ostya the vowels u and the power ga pu they are ostya labials u pu ostya and a i sorry a and i they are guttural plus palatal they have seen already this and o o they are guttural plus labial and the last one va is the combination of dental plus labial so these are the places of pronunciation in summary you can easily remember a kuha visarga khantya ichu yasha talavya rutu rasha murdhanya lutu lasa dantya upu ostya ai guttural plus palatal that is kantya plus talavya o au kantya plus lip, lips ostya va is dental plus labial that is dantya plus ostya i have written the sanskrita name i have not given the transliteration but transliteration already given in the previous slides therefore i am not repeating it again so if you are not able to read you won't be able to read now sanskrit uh, that sanskrita script but the transliteration already been given that is why i am not repeating it again you can know the the english words guttural palatal cerebrals now later you can know kantya talavya murdanya you can connect this okay any doubt in this no sir no okay we will move forward this is uh, the chart whatever we studied i have put in the form of uh, this uh, table and column this table and column will be meaningful after we learn the hard and soft consonants we will go that we will we will read that slide first and then we will come back to this this i can send you you can take a print out and keep it in a place where you can see it often so that you will remember what are they okay so we will come back to this later now hard consonants and soft consonants what are they we will see you have seen the uh, the classification of consonants in general like the class consonants and non class consonants <clears throat> class consonants and non class consonants under non class consonants semi vowel sibilants we have seen all those things another way of classifying the consonants is hard and soft hard consonants and soft consonants hard consonants are called kathora vyanjanani in sanskritam and soft consonants are called mridu vyanjanani kathora vyanjanani mridu vyanjanani why are they called uh, soft and uh, hard what are they what are the uh, hard consonants what are the soft consonants see soft consonants they are low and soft they resonate with a stone hard consonants are crisp sharp and flat they resonate less this is what the it is given this is what by the definition of hard and soft does it make any sense no so to make it more meaningful uh, to make it no uh, to understand it properly i'm i'm just putting that in another way you can see that that is when you utter the soft consonant you will have the you will feel the vibration in your throat you can just feel the vibration in your throat when you utter the soft consonants whereas when you utter the hard consonant there will not be vibration so so that so that is the, that where when you when, when you utter the hard consonants there will not be vibration so those consonants are called hard consonants then there is vibration when uttering a soft when uttering a consonant those consonant or those those consonants are called soft consonants this is easy to remember hard and soft but what are hard consonants what are soft consonants what are the uh, that we have to see this is in general hard and soft definition but what are the hard consonants what are the soft consonants we have learnt all the 33 consonants now that we will see 
you can see here. They have marked one, two, three, four, five, all the class consonants, all the semi vowels are there. Yara, lava, and shasha, saha is there. Now, that which is marked in red color, that is the first letter of all the classes. Please listen carefully. First letter of all the classes, and second letter of all the classes, and the first three sibilants, sha, sha, sa, they are hot consonants. It means when uttering these consonants, there will not be much vibration in your throat. Whereas the third letter of all the consonants, all the classes, the fourth letter of all the classes, and the fifth letter of all the classes, and all the semi vowels plus the sibilant, ha, they are soft consonants. In uttering these consonants, there will be vibration at the throat. They are soft consonants. So this knowledge of hard and soft is very important. Later, this knowledge will be very useful. So easy way to remember is one and two hard consonants, three, four, five soft consonants with regard to the class consonants. And all the semi vowels are, they are soft consonants. And among the sibilants already we learned, first three are hard. The last one is soft. So now you know hard consonants and soft consonants. Any doubt in this? Yes, no. I'm I'm not very clear on this uh, the difference yeah. in pronunciation when I'm trying. So if uh, see our uh, rishis, they have uh, classified the consonants as katora vinjanani, mridu vinjanani. Okay. So easy way to distinguish is only understanding by knowing the vibration in your throat. So. If you, when you utter properly, this, 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 the consonants will feel the vibration. You will have the, will feel the vibration in your throat. Even otherwise, you just know this one and two are hard consonants, three, four, five are soft consonants. That knowledge is enough that will help you. Okay. In, uh, in, when, when it comes to, uh, when, we, uh, when we study later, other topics like uh, euphony combinations, sandhi, we call in Sanskritam sandhi and all, those, that knowledge will be very useful. Okay. But if you know to pronounce these consonants at this stage, it is fine. More than that is not expected. Okay. Whatever information I give, these informations are given prior, so that will be useful later. In, in fact, uh, when they teach the Devanagari script, they don't teach all the places of pronunciation and all. This is a, they feel this is too much, but I feel it is important. The phonetics is important. Then the knowledge of hard and soft, that also is important. Because this is the base for topics which you are going to see later okay okay thank you so a simple way to remember the the hard and soft consonants is one two the first letter and second letter of all the classes and the first three sibilants they are hard consonants remaining all the letters are soft consonants simple simple way to remember so this is what uh, in the slide you can see hard consonants is the first letter and the second, the letter of all the classes and all the sibilants except ha, they are hard consonants. And third letter, fourth letter, fifth letter of all the classes plus the sibilant ha is, they are, they are soft consonant. So, so up to this, I hope it is clear. Then uh, the, you can see the Sanskrit names I have given. All the semi vowels also, no? Sorry? Semi vowels also. Yes, soft that's point. I missed the semi vowels. Is yeah. here. Soft consonant is third, fourth, fifth letter plus semi vowels. It is. Then, uh, next slide, you can see all the Sanskrit names, what we come across so far, it is given. All the Sanskrit names which we come across so far, it is given here in this slide. You can see Varnamala, Swaraha. Varnamala means what? Okay, I will read the Sanskrit name. You can tell me the meaning. Varnamala. One of you can tell the meaning. Garland of letters. Letters. Swaraha. Vowels. Vowels. Achaha. Vowels. Also vowels. Venjanani. Consonants. Halaha. Consonants. Samanas. Varaha. 
सिंपल वर्ब्स सिंपल सिंपल संयुक्त स्वरा हा कंजंक्ट वर्ब्स रस्व हा शॉर्ट वर्ब्स शॉर्ट वर्ब्स दीर्घ हा लॉन्ग वर्ब्स विसर्ग हा अमूल्य कोलन कोलन विसर्जनीय हा सेम सेम कोलन दिस वन इज नॉट टॉट no i told visargaha oh, oh. visargaha is also called visarjaniya ha same okay visarga or visarjaniya both mean same colors okay. the name okay sanya anuswaraha bindu bindu bindu, bindu. bindu. good varga vyanjanani class class consonants consonant antastaha semi vowels ushmanaha sibilants alpapranaha Uh, the aspirate, non-aspirate, 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 aspirate, 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 this what we are studying so all the vowels and consonants are covered okay so vowels consonants simple vowels conjunct vowels short vowels long vowels class consonants semi vowels sibilants nasal aspirate non aspirate short consonants soft consonants now you have to practice i will send you a pdf file you can take a print out of that all the letters will be there you can write in practice when you write the letters say it loudly and write because the form and the sound both should be connected so when you write practice the letters you have to say it loudly this is what we instruct the children when they learn the alphabet same thing is applicable to us also so when we write don't feel shy when we when write and we write say it loudly and then write those who don't know those already know it's fine okay so with this you can now if you have any doubts you can ask me after the class om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamaya purnavashishyate purnam shantasya धन्यवाद थैंक यू धन्यवाद शिवरात्रि धन्यवाद धन्यवाद